let's make some ice cream. Mmm, delicious! The materials you need to make pretend ice cream are clay, sequins, and beads. Let's make some ice cream. Roll your ice cream into a ball. You can roll with your hands or on the table. We've got lots of flavors. Orange, grape, raspberry, blueberry ice cream. You may need to smush them down a bit to stack them. And now topping. Mini Play-Doh marshmallows. Delicious. Beads for sprinkles. I'm gonna call this the monkey. Mmm, these look good enough to eat. Let's make more. How about an Eyeball Sunday! <laughs> <laughs> I made it myself! <laughs> it's looking right at you! <laughs> Let's make a pizza! Here's what you need to make a pizza. Lots of felt, foam sheets, some yarn, scissors, and pipe cleaners. First, we have to cut the pizza. Start with the crust. Here. That looks good. Next, we're gonna cut the sauce, like this. Looks good. I think so. Cheese! Cut yarn for cheese. Extra cheese, please. Cut out lots of different shapes for your toppings. Hi, welcome to Crazy Pizza Palace. What kind of pizza do you want? I want everything. Black olives, anchovies, creepy eyeballs, pipe cleaner peppers, jelly beans. One crazy pizza coming right up. Order up. Thank you. Mmm, mm, best, best pizza, pizza in town. <laughs> Make a small city for our action figures. Pow! Whoosh! Pow! Whoosh! Bang! The things you need to build a hero city are tissue boxes, construction paper, markers, and tape. Tissue boxes. The tissue boxes will be our buildings. Construction paper. Draw the buildings on the construction paper. Hmm, what should we draw? I'm making an ice cream parlor. I'm drawing a school. I'm making a tape loop. To make a tape loop, you have to take the unsticky part and put it on the sticky part. Ta-da! Assemble the building. Take the construction paper on the tissue box. Press the paper onto the tissue box. Let's draw all our different buildings. Skyscraper. Fire station. Bank. An apartment building. Post office. Pizza parlor. Now you have your buildings. <laughs> <laughs> City, here we come. Time to play. Someone's eating all the ice cream. Help! How? 
Whoosh! Pow! We'll save all the ice cream in Hero City. Yes, we saved the ice cream. It's time to sneak into the bank. No, it's not so fast! <laughs> oh no, the villain. We have to protect everyone. I'm on a mission. Let's go. Bing, bing, wee, bing, bing, wee, bing, bing, wee. Let's hop in the car. Let's go. Up, up, and away. Pow, bang, crash, bam. Here we go. Time to fly. Hero City. Hero City is safe again. Until tomorrow. <laughs> tiny Princess Crowns! The materials you need to make tiny princess crowns are toilet paper rolls, decorating tape, scissors, gems, hole punch, and a headband. Wrap the decorating tape around the toilet paper roll to really show off the color. I like it. Cut out triangles to make your crown have points. Make sure your parents know you're using scissors. Pretty. Now I'm punching holes in my crown for my headband. Give the hole punch a good squeeze. Put gems on your toilet paper roll to really make it sparkle. Add some dazzle and some gems. Put the end of the headband through the holes. Slide your headband onto the crown. Now put it on. Your tiny princess crown is ready for the world. And now we're ready to play princesses. I'm gonna be a ballerina princess. I'm gonna be a superpower princess. Dance party. The penguin wants to be a princess too. Okay, let's give him a crown. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you make tutus. We made our own tutus. And we're going to show you how to make one so you can fly too. This is how you make tutus. You start with a piece of ribbon. Then you lay it out on a table or a flat surface. The ribbon has to be long enough so it can tie around your waist. We have to tape it down because it can move around when we're threading it. Then you need some tool. This is tool. Tool is something that's a netting that they use to make tutus. You don't have to use just tool. You can use different stuff if you don't have tool, like newspaper, ribbon, wrapping paper, and fabric. You have to start with a long piece of tool. You have to fold the tool into even parts. This is the loop end. Put the loop end under the ribbon. Thread the long end through the hole. And then you kind of tighten it. And then you just keep adding tool to make your tutu thick. You can use pink, blue, orange, red, any color. I love tutus because when I spin, all the strings just pop up and it looks like they're just breezing in the air. 
I love to dance. It's my favorite thing in the whole wide world. It's looking really good, but we just need to add a little more to make it more fuller. You can push the tool down to make it all together. I'm gonna add a ribbon. I have this flower ribbon. You do the same thing with the ribbon that you do with the tool. You fold it in half evenly, slip it through, then you pull it through and pull and stop. Once you have as much tool in your tutu as you want, you're done. We're taking off the tape from the table. Here, Here it, it is. is. And then you can just use the ribbon to tie it around your waist. And that's your tutu. How to make a secret spy banana. Shh. <laughs> I'm a spy! I'm a spy too! And here's a secret message! What a banana! What? It has a message! We love playing spies! We're going to show you how to set a secret spy message on a banana so you can play too! All you need is a banana and a toothpick! So first we're going to start writing the message! So I'm going to write cold red. I want to make a pattern, and then on the other side, I'm going to write a secret message to my sister. Using the toothpick to scratch the skin of the banana, so then it makes lines in the banana skin. You can't really see that first, but after a little while, it turns brown. That's why it's secret, because it starts out invisible. You can write words or you can draw a picture. We made some earlier and you can see they turn brown. I'm almost done. I'm almost done too. And that's how you make a secret spy banana. Calling spy 42, spy 31 is here. Okay, I'm here. What's going on? I found her. He's planning to go into space. Spy out. Spy out. We're playing spies. Ooh, look, a secret message. I wonder what it is. It's coming together. I see something appearing. We're going to show you how to make a secret message so you can play spy too. Watch this. Here's how to send a secret message on blank paper. Here it goes, Amanda. So first, we get a white crayon and we write a secret message on the paper. You can't really see it, but you have to know what you're writing. You can also just draw pictures. It's a little tricky to see what you're drawing sometimes. There you go. Once you're done with your message, you use the watercolor on top. The watercolor paint doesn't stick to the crayon, so you can see the crayon message. Look what happened to mine. You can use a dark color because it'll be easier to see. I'm using the color orange. Maybe I should send a map to important clues. Maybe I could send a secret meeting place. And that's how you make a secret spy message. 